right, now we're ready for the exciting exercise called Qi Kung. Qi Kung goes back centuries ago and kept secret, passed on through the families. And just recently, within the last 20, 30 years, Qi Kung has drifted into this country. I've been fortunate enough to have instructors that shared these secrets with me many years ago, before anybody in the area had these techniques of Qi Kung. And what I did over the period of the years, because there's over 2,000 styles of Qi Kong in China alone, I cherry picked some of the best movements for different situations. And beside our regular Qi Kong and Tai Chi curriculum, we have what we call our six quick fixes. The object of this is to say, for example, you really feel stressed out and you really need to go do something very important. You don't have time to go through the whole warm up routine where you can do what I call the quick fixes. So the first one we do is called a five element warm up. This one is to reduce stress. Then we have a movement called bring the lotus to the temple. Beautiful movement using the knowledge of the sacred flower, the lotus, which the, the practitioners of the Qigong believe that this flower has healing potential to it. Well, whether it does or not, we know one thing, that the power of the imagination does. Disease cannot live in a body that's in a healthy emotional state. Many will share that with me. So with that one, we're going to really develop the chi energy, get the energy flowing through the meridians quickly to ignite those cells like a blowtorch rather than a match. And then the next one is called centering for focus, control. If you watch the Olympics just recently, the, the uh, athletes that won the gold were the ones that were the most focused. So we have a movement and it's called the uh, it's called focusing centering, and this movement is really really exciting when it comes to being able to develop the ability to focus, concentrate, and not allow all the garbage that's out there to interfere with our thinking. Then the next one that we have is called the press, and the press is excellent for developing upper body strength, for getting rid of tension in the shoulders for also being able to get rid of any migraine headaches you might have. We've been very successful using the press with that element. It doesn't usually help with sinus headaches, but it does in most cases with migraine headaches. So you've got a combination of each of these movements has specific benefits, but they all overlap. All of them reduce stress, all of them increase your strength and health and well-being. Then the number five is called the waves. To learn to control your body. Learn to control it so that when you learn to control the body, you learn to control the mind. It's very difficult to control the mind or the body trying to start with controlling the mind. So this next, the wave, the number five, is really exciting when it comes to being able to follow a beautiful pattern, a rhythm pattern. And the number six is called the moving the chi, or yin and yang. This one is to, I call it the internal massage. To be able to get inside the body and actually like reaching in and each internal organ massaging and keeping that organ from shrinking and keeping it in good health. Just recently, there was research done by USF that Tai Chi helps increase the size of the brain as we age it shrinks. Well, not only now do we know that we can keep it from shrinking, but we can increase the brain size just by doing Tai Chi. And we suspect that Qigong has some of those same benefits. All right, so we're going to start off with the five element warm up. Okay, the first quick fix is called the five element warm up of Qigong. By the way, Qigong means cultivating energy. And this movement is designed to really reduce stress on and up and raise the immune system. And, and it's the combination of the music, the breathing, and the movement that accomplish that. So follow me for the five element warm up. One of the most important things is to inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. There are three reasons. Before we get started, I want to share this with you. Number one reason it filters the air. Number two reason it releases a gas called nitric oxide produced by the upper phalanges of the nose and that's nature's greatest anti-aging gas and it dilates all the vessels. So people that have nitric oxide in their body, even though it's a short-lived gas, experience a, a positive rush, increase of strength and awareness, especially mental clarity. So that's why when people do Qigong and practice it and then throughout the day occasionally do some deep breathing to sort of ignite the memory of that Qigong you did that day, then you're really in a very healthy situation mentally, physically, and emotionally. So the first one here we're going to do, remember to keep uh, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and the third reason it's important to exhale through the nose so you won't swallow a bug. All right, now follow me and keep your fingers apart just like you're picking up a basketball. Think of the fingers like claws. 
Right, here we go. Follow me. Smell the flowers. Very slowly blow out the candles. The exhale should take a little bit longer than the inhale. Coming down to the waist, turn hands over. As we inhale, smell the flowers. Slowly blow out the candles. Inhale through the nose as we bring it to the temple. Exhale, mouth, push out. Inhale through the nose as we bring it to the chest. Exhale, and imagine you're reaching up to the furthest star and bringing that energy from the star into your hands. And down slowly as we exhale, right into your solar plexus. Let's do that one more time. Smell the flowers. Very slowly, the flowers. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. We bring it back to the temple. Exhale. We push out. Inhale through the middle of the chest. Exhale to reach up to the furthest arm. Then inhale. Inhale. Get to your shoulders. Exhale. Exhale. All the way down. After we finish any sequence of movements in Qigong, we always end up with a traditional bow. For centuries, the tradition was done to respect the grand masters that are buried in the ground. But for the last couple of years, we've been doing our ritual bow and tributing it to our veterans and our men and women overseas for taking the freedom. So how you do that is bring your left foot to the right. Put out your left hand. That means friendship. Meet with friendly people. Curl your left thumb. That means integrity. We're honest people. Make a fist with the right hand, that means strength or power, the fist in the palm and a gentle bow, and that means don't mess with us. Just kidding about that. Anybody mess with you, let me know, send my wife back. All right, the next one is bring the lotus to the temple. This is one of my favorites. Here we get a chance to really use the power of imagination. Now the Asians, in a certain group of Asians, believe that this flower has some healing potential and power to it. Well, whether it does or not, the main thing is when with this exercise, you're going to be able to use imagination. I believe it's imagination, not so much the flower. So let's use our imagination to take our fitness level to another level, to get the chi moving through the meridians and through the body quickly and effectively with a lot harder spark. All right, put your feet a little bit more than shoulder width, toes pointed towards the corner. Now the lotus, the sacred lotus flower, grows on top of the water. And the interesting thing, the petals never get wet. The water just rolls right off. And the stem goes right down into the ugly mud. So the philosophical thing about that, the, you know, for every ugliness, there is some beauty. And isn't it funny how this beautiful flower, one of the most beautiful flowers on earth, gets its nourishment from the ugly mud. So a lot can be learned from nature. All right, follow me. And remember to keep your fingers apart and breathe through the nose, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Here we go. Inhale and you don't have to go down too far. Just do a little squat as you pick it up. Remember, it grows on top of the water. Continue inhaling as we come up. Exhale as we let it out, touching the two pinky fingers. That's important. One end is positive, one end is negative. That creates a circuit of energy. Inhale as we open up. Focus on the palms. Exhale as we push out. Now, you want to push real tight and stretch the body, and you curl your thumbs so that you really get a tight push. Then we want to relax as we form the arch. Inhale. Then exhale as we go down and pick up the beautiful lotus again. Inhaling all the way up. Up on the toes is optional. And then slowly exhale, picturing every single cell. Be a little miniature human with happy, smiley faces. We attack disease and fitness from a cellular level rather than just a regular mind-body level. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale as we go down. Pick up the beautiful lotus. Continue inhaling. Exhale as we let it up, touching the two pinky fingers. Inhale as we open up. Exhale as we push up, tightening up the thumbs. Inhale as we form the arch. Exhale as we come down, picking up the beautiful lotus again. Inhale, inhale, over the head. Now picture every single cell having a happy, smiling face. Happy because what you're doing makes them feel good. And happy cells are a happy person. All right, in our traditional bow. Okay, the next one is centering. And this one, the important part of this one here is try not to have from here to here have any internal dialogue. It takes a lot of practice. It's that space between thought called the now. 
And that's the part where true genius and creativity comes from. Very few people can do that. So it takes a lot of practice. Also, um, keep the hand in your peripheral vision all the way down, even though you're looking straight forward. When we come up with the hand and come down, keep it in your peripheral vision. This one is really designed to develop focus and attention. The power of attention is the tool that the warrior uses to overcome obstacles. With attention, you develop concentration. With concentration, develop spiritual power. And spiritual power is the mightiest force in existence. So this is a good step in that direction. Follow me. Very simple exercise, but very, very powerful. And like I said, try not to have any internal dialogue. It takes sometimes months of practice to do that. But believe me, it's worth it. Okay, here we go. Ready? Inhale through the nose. Slowly exhale through the mouth. Try to exhale really slowly. And try to keep that hand in your peripheral vision and also cease to have any internal dialogue. Practice that. Now the other hand. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Smell the flower. Slowly blow out the candle. One candle at a time. Excellent. All right. Now, by now, you should be starting to feel the effects of this positively. Now, if not, we still got a couple more to go, so don't worry. Okay, the next one is called the press. This is good for developing upper body strength, flexibility in the shoulders. Also, this is the one that gets rid, in most cases, of migraine headaches and has a lot of other benefits, but we'll just stick with those for now. Starts off holding the hands like this, palm facing up. Inhale as we come up. Then we get equal to our shoulders, in other words, our shoulders up past the shoulder, uh, chest, I meant to say, and then turn the palms over, go down as far as you can, and hold it there for 10 seconds. Now your eyes should be fixated on when the ceiling meets the wall, and you hold this for 10 seconds, and as you hold it, you exhale, if you can, for the full 10 seconds. Try to exhale slowly. If not, just hold your breath, and then we'll inhale on the way up, and then again, slowly exhale on the way down, feeling totally relaxed, at ease, free from disease. Let's do that again. Inhale as we come up, top of the chest, then turn the palms over. Exhale as we go down, as far as you can handle. And then hold that as we exhale slowly, slowly, slowly. And keep your eyes fixated up with the ceiling against the wall. Let's do a couple more. Smell the flower. Slowly blow out the candles. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Hold it there. This one sort of grows. Believe me, the more you do it, the more you enjoy it. All right, the next one is called the wave. This is the one where we develop good body rhythm because. We learn to control the body, it's much easier to control the mind. And we eat with, with rhythm, we talk with rhythm, we sleep with the rhythm. So when we move with the rhythm, it has a very, very profound effect of a period of time on the body positive. So follow me and start with your left hand if you're facing me. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Follow that hand in your peripheral vision also. Inhale. On the way down, exhale, keep your head straight forward, and try to keep that hand in your peripheral vision as we exhale all the way down. Now the other hand, smell the flowers. Slowly blow out the candles. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let's do one more each hand. You come to the front of the head, and then come down. You exhale, inhale, and as we come up, and exhale as we face the front. One more time. Good. All right, we got one more. And this is called moving the chi. 
right hand by the throat, some call it yin and yang, left hand by the spool and the belly button. This is the one that I was telling you about, it's like massaging internal organs. I call it the internal gymnastics, or some call it the internal massage. Now here is the interesting thing about this one, very simple movement, but it could really be very, very important in your future health. Because internally, what happens when we move the hands, we're, it's like exciting each of the organs internally for a big reason. Each of these organs, your heart, your liver, your pancreas, and so on, have chi channels, little nerve endings that formulate or end up in the fingers. And when you are moving the hands back and forth, you're creating a bioelectrical energy form, and that energy goes to the internal organs. We suspect that it keeps them, just like Tai Chi keeps the brain from shrinking, we suspect that it possibly keeps the internal organs from shrinking. Reason is because everybody that I've had for students in the past 20, 30 years has gotten healthier, has not aged like everybody else. So I know that there's a lot of stuff going on that even science can't explain. So anyway, without any further ado, put your right hand by the throat, left hand, and just pull the belly button. The bottom hand should also come up on the inside. And also use the imagination. Imagine that every organ is getting vitalized and that form of youth is integrated into those organs. Here we go. Inhale as we come up. A little pause and exhale as we come down. And you can form a little circle. Inhale as we come up. Hold it, exhale as we come down. Put your mind inside your body. Imagine, like I say, every organ is getting massaged just like your hands were in there, preciously inside of each and every one of the internal organs. Smell the flowers. Slowly love the candles. There you have the six quick fixes, each one designed to do a specific thing so you don't have to, if you're in a hurry, you feel lack of energy, then you know which one does that. If you feel weak in the upper body, you've got one to take care of that. If you have a migraine headache, you, you, if you need some extra, extra energy and so on. So thank you and good practice.